Okay, so I want to quickly cover the topic of continuous functions. Okay, can you read that? Continuous functions. Okay, and um, so suppose we have a function that looks like like this and that. And then let's suppose we have a function that looks like that and that. And then let's suppose we have a function that looks like this. Okay. So I think that, uh, so the idea of continuous function can be stated as though uh, sort of intuitively, if, if you can draw it without taking the, the chalk off of the chalkboard. So clearly for this one, we can't do that. So we don't want to call this continuous. Okay, so um, what uh, can we use? What concept can we use that we've been studying for a while? What can we use to describe this scenario instead of using that idea that you can't take the chalk off of the chalkboard? Another thing we could, we could talk about is the limit. So we could talk about the limit at here, call this A, as X approaches A from the right. And we could talk about the limit as X approaches A from the left, where this function, we'll call it F. This function is F, so F and F. Okay, so what is the limit? Um, at, and let's call this, say, B and call this C. So what is the limit as X approaches A from the right? So you can see that as it approaches A from the right, the answer is C. But here, what is the limit as X approaches A from the left? Uh, we can say that it's B. So because the left-handed limit is not equal to the right-handed limit, we say the limit doesn't exist. And so we can, we can say that first of all, if we have that situation, where the limit does not exist, then we can say that uh, the function is not gonna be continuous at this point A where the limit doesn't exist. So by the way, we're gonna be talking about uh, when a function is continuous, not everywhere, but just at a particular point. So at this particular point A, we would say it's not continuous. Okay, now let's, so that was this example, let's call it example one. And here's example two. And what about example two? So, in that case, uh, do you, should we call this continuous or not? Well, probably we don't want to call it continuous. So what, how can we describe the problem using the concept of limits? So we can, what can we say? Well, here, the left-handed limit is equal to the right-handed limit. That is, so here we said that it has to have this property that the left-handed limit has to equal the right-handed limit, but that's not sufficient because here it's not continuous. Okay, so is this one going to be continuous? Well, it's not even defined at, at A, okay? So we, we don't wanna call a function that is not defined at A, continuous at A. So a second uh, property that we want to, a condition that we wanna insist on is that, uh, that F of A exists. So we'll say that F of A has to exist, okay? And uh, so, so if it doesn't exist, so here uh, we, would, we would say it's not continuous. Okay, so let's go, sorry, this, this one like this. So here we meet both of these two conditions here. We say that, we say that uh, it, the function exists at A, so it's up here. So we say the function exists at A but we still don't want to call it continuous at A. So what's the problem here? So we can say that the problem is that, the, uh, that F of A, which is, so F of A, F of A is equal to C, and so, uh, but the limit is B. So the limit at A is B. So we have that the value of the, fun of the function at A is not equal to the limit of the function at A. So finally, we want to say that what we mean by uh, uh, a the, that the function is continuous is that the limit of F 
as x approaches a is, so here, if we could pull this down to there, then it would be continuous. So if the limit as x approaches a is equal to the actual value at a. So that is our definition for um, a continuous function. So it has to be that the limit exists. It has to be um, that, the, um, that the function exists there, the limit exists there, and that they're equal. So we can write that all of that like this actually. Or you can write, you can think of it as three separate conditions that uh, the limit exists, that the function exists there, and that the limit there uh, is equal to the, uh, the, uh, the value of the function there. Okay, so that is what we mean by continuous, a, a function is continuous.